What up, what up, what up? Hashtag Burritos Nation, it's your boy Rainbow Warrior here. We are not live, I was about to say we're live, but this isn't a stream or anything, but this is another episode of WWE Supercard number 392. Yes, I'm wearing the same shirt as last episode, but that's because I'm making both episodes in the same day because I'm a multitasker, baby. Yeah, but anyways, guys, we got ourselves the team road to glory grinding finale right now. The Event's probably over right now. I'm getting a lot of notifications vibrating on my phone. It's probably over, but I wanted to make sure that I go ahead and finish this off, even though everyone else probably already has the card. <laughs> Let's use the title match. And we're not going to go all sissy sissy on and do a one-pointer or a two-pointer. We're going to go up against hashtag DDP Yoga with a 10-point game. And I have not lost yet. Gotten a few, maybe three ties. So we're going to go ahead and finish this off, and then we're going to go ahead and segue into... So King of the Ring rewards. Don't know. Maybe I'll fail. Right now I'm up 1-0 against um, a guy named Ramon. Not my teammate Ramon who works for 2K or anything like that. But um, he is... His name's Ramon in this King of the Ring. But yeah. All right. So there we go. So we're up 1-0 actually in the quarterfinals, which is pretty awesome like a possum. We're up 1-0 right now in this thing, my bobber. And we're going to go and throw our Kevin Owens... And Braun Strowman, our, our two pro PCC, not PCC, our two pro event cards, one PCC, the other one Ring Domination, of course. But yeah, guys, how far did your guys' his team get in your team, Road to Glory Grind? Let me know in the comments below, because that is pretty cool, yo. Right, so they're going to throw out their boss, Sasha Banks. We got Lita leading on everyone else. Littering, you see? Leading, leading, and littering. It sounds alike. Ha, 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 ha. Although I don't know why you'd litter on anyone, but I don't know. But there we go. We're going to get a nice old tag team. I think we lost there, right? So we're up 3 1. We're doing pretty well. It looks like this is a pretty easy team, actually, because unless we get messed over in the end here. So let's see what we're going to get. We have ourselves some solos here. We're going to throw out the one right arrow that is not compatible with anything. So we're going to get beat by a nice little line salt from Chris Jericho. Money in the Bank are the coolest card in the game, in my opinion. I really, really can't wait to get a pro that. Have the single, of course, as you guys saw earlier. And I'm happy to get it. And also, uh, SmackDown Live just started right now. It is currently 17 minutes in. I've not seen what's going on yet. So, obviously, I can't tell you anything about what happened. But, yeah. You guys already know by now, and by the time you see this episode, it'll be done. <laughs> so I'm excited to see that turn that on. It's going to be the last SmackDown Live before going to No Mercy, so that should be pretty hype. All right, so there we go. Let's do put in our nice little Finn Balor, as well as a Seth Rollins. He's got a Seth Rollins, too. But we're going to win, because ours is a SummerSlam Pro. All right, and now we're going to go with good old Seth Rollins to go against an event. Randy Orton, not good right there, but we are going to probably get this one. I believe this is the last round. I could be wrong. could be just a three of four. And nope, it's a win. There we go. Hashtag Bruce Nation. The Heenan family does it again. And a shout out everyone here. We got ourselves a nice little 10 out of 10. Zero points. Yeah, it's been over for like 10 minutes. <laughs> we got ourselves some Moa Joe car right there. A pro, baby. It's a pro. And that'd be crazy. Crazy if we got ourselves a SummerSlam pull right here. Watch it be a Dolph Ziggler. I'd be so hyped. Or a Charlotte or a Sasha or something like that. That'd be pretty cool indeed. Ooh, that is just so perfect right there. Do you guys see right there? That is a perfect way to end a team event with none other than Bobby Heenan for the Heenan family. So it's pretty cool. But anyways, guys, let's do a shout out everyone here in the thing, my Bob. Let's do and see here. We got good old Ramon, our Owner killing it with 716 points. Amzy killing it. Yes. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Whatever. I don't care. <laughs> Amzy with 575. Jose, our new member, we're killing it with 455. Stinger 69. That's Harry with 428. Brian 400 on the dot. Gallo 375. Myself, Rainbow or some team with 335. And I did have to do some stuff at the DMV, so I didn't get to play as much yesterday as I wanted to. But I did grind some today, a lot today. Uh, Raven with 260. Rob with 220. And Marriott with 115 baby so it's pretty cool let's go ahead and claim all of these rewards and then we'll go and then segue into our king of the ring rewards which hopefully hopefully we get to in our finals all right so we got ourselves a nice little uncommon brock lesnar as you saw right there and uh phone's doing something weird that was weird that was definitely weird so you guys saw that right <laughs> you guys saw the game just let's right there i'm gonna pause the video and get back to the rewards right here 
All right, so we're back after that glitchity glitch glitch. And if you guys hear things in the background, that's just people are in my house and they're talking right now. But yeah, oh well. All right, so there we go. We got a rare, yes, 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 Daniel Bryan. And we're going to go with the nice little Super Retito Santana. So it's a nice little throwback super rare card in the Team Road to Glory. And then we'll go ahead and claim ourselves an ultra rare John Cena Fruity Pebbles. Do, 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 do. Will John Cena. Ty Rick Flair for the most World Heavyweight Championships of all time this week at No Mercy? We'll have to see, and I will get to see it live! Hopefully he loses, because I'm not a John Cena fan at all. But if it happens, I can see I witness history live. So yeah, that's kind of cool too. I really want to see AJ win. I prefer to see Ambrose win over Cena, if it has to not be AJ. But yeah, uh, I got the legendary Triple H, I was the one to get it. Then we got Survivor, the great one! The Rock! So there we go, another Survivor Rock for the collection. And then we got ourselves a WrestleMania Christian. If you close your eyes. It's all been waiting for the SummerSlam Pro Samoa oh, Muscle Buster, baby. So there we go. Let's go ahead and blah, 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 blah. I didn't even know what I was going to say there. But anyways, we're going to go and segue our rewards for King of the Ring in a second here. If you enjoyed this, let me know in the comments below and tell me how you guys feel about SmackDown. If your team got the Team Road to Glory award and stuff, you stuff like that, how far your team get. And yeah, I'm going to stop talking. I'm going to segue into this now. Bye. <laughs> and we're back and we're inside Nastasia, the car again, of course. It is almost one in the absolute stinking morning. Oh my gosh, and I stayed up for this when I probably shouldn't have. <laughs> oh my goodness, I'm so tired right now and I have work in the morning. I probably shouldn't have stayed up for this, but I did it anyways for the hashtag Bruise Nation and mainly because I really, really wanted to get my reward. But I went ahead and lost to Neptune. His, just, his pros were higher than mine. He actually didn't energize either game, so it's 12 of them trying to lose, but I lost. So Congrats to him for getting the King of the Ring one. This is our eighth straight King of the Ring finals, which is awesome like a possible. So congrats to Kill Neptune for getting that W. Uh, and then we got Rainbow or some team. And against Ramon, we got Torito, the KJ Hammer, Super Kill Neptune, and V High. And that went up against Torito, him going up against Hammer. And then the end, him destroying me. All right, so hopefully you get yourself something good, bro. And that should be pretty cool. Anyways, let's go and check out the, the Road to Glory preview that's been up. Just got put up about like an hour or so ago, maybe even just a half hour ago. So to the deck setup, I already auto-filled and went ahead and changed my support cards. We are looking pretty good right here. Um, we have nine pros right now and Samojo will be ten. And then there's another that'll be 11 that I can tell you right now. And who knows, maybe 12 with the uh, King of the Ring award right now. But why do I say 11? It's because there is a pro in this Road to Glory. All right, so we got Samojo for the Uncommon, Rare R-Truth, Super Rare, The Eater of Worlds, Bray Wyatt, uh, Ultra Rare, I Hate You, <laughs> Epic, Gold Dust, Legendary Star. Dust, who actually made his debut as Tony Rhodes on uh, uh, Bound for Glory, so that's pretty cool. Um, and that's TNA, of course, which is actually interesting. Daniel Bryan, during Smack, uh, talking Smack after SmackDown Live, actually acknowledged uh, AJ as a former TNA World Champion, so that's interesting since there's rumors about them uh, purchasing in it. TNA. All right, so Survivor Xavier Woods, WrestleMania Biggie, and woo, woo, woo. I pro it. A pro Zack Ryder for me is going to be a perfect, nice little um, uh, SummerSlam pro, which means I'll probably be able to actually level up my, um, what should I call it all the way, my uh, my Finn Balor event card, because now I'll use this guy as a PCC pro for a left arrow, because I really, really needed it. I didn't want to use some Mojo. So I'll probably level up Joe to maybe around 19, because he's a good card, so it'll be like AG at level 19, and I'll put Joe in my King of the Ring for my Finn Balor. So something cool like that. There we go. We got Cesaro as the event card to get the pro that. That should be pretty cool, man. 
we're getting there, man. We are definitely getting there. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and do one good old Money in the Bank match before we go ahead and get our king. It's cold in here. I just shook the phone and my whole entire body shook right there. I just got the chills. But as I was trying to say, we're going to get our king of the ring award right after this Money in the Bank. Oh my gosh, those chills were crazy, man. Ah, it's kind of scary outside, man. It's scary. It's just so darn dark and it's so quiet. It's like one in the morning, yo. Yeah. Ooh, ooh, it's so cold. It's actually starting to get colder for the first time in a while. It actually rained the other day, um, yesterday. So that's pretty crazy because it rarely rains around here where I live. Uh, but there we go. Let's go and go up against Finn Balor with a nice little, I'm on the edge of glory. Um, now let's go ahead and go up against that Zack Ryder with a nice little Kevin Owens. I'm hoping for a good pro. Um, because, you know, I really, really would love a woman wrestler pro, but if I don't get a woman wrestler pro, I really want to get good cards. I'm getting to the point where I'm getting really, really close to having a full deck because with Samoa Joe, that will be, um, that will be 10. Zack Ryder will be 11 and then Cesaro will be 12 pro. So I'm getting close to having my full, uh, 16 pro deck. Eventually it's going to happen, especially with the couple more event pros and i'm gonna have the jericho pro as well so a lot of cool things are going to happen and i just have to start getting some better pros as well as having uh, some women wrestler pros i'll really really be hyped if this king of the ring end up being a woman wrestler pro it's just a lot of cool things that would be very very cool and i'd really really appreciate it <laughs> and to think of it man actually let's see this is wednesday's episode let's see Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, four days from now, I'll be at No Mercy. So that's pretty sick. Pretty hyped about that. But let's go on over. There is my pro Samoa Joe working on him some. Um, let's go ahead and see what cards will make a pro for me. I would love to get myself a nice little Stone Cold, be a great pro, the best pro in the game. Seth Rollins would be a great pro. Roman Reigns, I hate you, but you'd be a great pro for me. Um, nice little Kevin Owens would be an awesome pro. I uh, don't want another, well, if I have to get a single, I guess it'd be a good, another single for another Samoa Joe, but I prefer get a pro. <laughs> Shinsuke Nakamura be an awesome pro to have. King of Strong Style Pro. Uh, Rusev's not so good, but any pro is still going to help at this point since I don't have the full deck. Uh, Rusev will be a pro. Jericho, drink it in, man. Be a cool pro to have in their left arrow. Big E would be a cool pro. How you doing, Big Cass Pro? Uh, King of Swing Cesaro Pro. Pretty interesting to get him as a pro since we're going to be getting his event card as a pro from the Road of Glory. Don't want him. <laughs> uh, 50 Credit Miz would be cool even though he's low down there. Dolph Ziggler, you guys know I would absolutely love just because he's my favorite wrestler. Uh, then Charlotte be a fantastic pro. Oh my gosh, I'll be so hyped to get a Charlotte, man. I just really, really want to get a woman wrestler pro so badly. Um, a Strawberry Shumus would be a pro. It's a pro. It's a horrible pro, but it's a pro. The boss, Sasha Banks, would be absolutely great. The new Raw Women's Champion. Um, and then Nia Jax would be... It's a woman wrestler pro. I'd be hyped for it. I'd be very hyped for it. <laughs> All right, there we go. And there's my other Samoa Joe. Uh, but anyways, guys, what we're going to get right in the comments below, are we going to get ourselves a superstar, a uh, male superstar, or are we get ourselves a woman superstar slash diva? Um, <laughs> trying to stop saying it, but I don't know. They're still calling the game. We'll have to see what happens in season three if they stop calling that. Will we get ourselves a pro, a single? Let's claim our awards. I'm going to cover my eyes. We're going to get ourselves a SummerSlam. And five, four, three, two, one. Oh, man, I got hyped for a second there, man. I thought it was a Charlotte. Oh, man, that's such a tease, Supercard. All right, but there we go, another diva. I'm really, really happy about that. Another woman wrestler. So another chance of getting a pro. I really, really need to start getting grinding on this ladder war because I have about like 3.5K games to go. I really don't want to play that much. But I got to do it because I really, really want to get a chance but anyways, guys, we're closer to getting a Diva Pro, another Diva. I'm really, really happy about that game. Any Diva helps right now. Natalia is a decent Diva. Not the worst, not the best, but she's somewhere there in the middle. So I'm really hyped about that. But anyways, guys, if you enjoyed this episode, let me know in the comments below. Give me a like, a like, a like, a comment, a comment, and subscribe, and subscribe, subscribe. And I will see all of y'all hashtag Bruce Nation. Ooh, later. We don't want no ham and cheese. We just want a woman wrestler.
Pro please and burritos. Yeah. Want to know a fact, guys? A fact like Kurt Hawkins, because I'm going to be seeing him in his debut at No Mercy. But the fact is, I had burritos for lunch today. Yeah. <laughs>